And acting Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez and his Socialist Party have won Sunday's general election, although they failed to secure a majority. And uh, far right made uh, big gains in the vote that uh, did not break the long running political deadlock. Our correspondent uh, Filio Contrafuria has more from Madrid. Spain enters a new phase of political uncertainty. Sunday's vote complicates the stalemate between the country's political forces in a bid to form a stable government. And in a nation that's been divided and gripped by voter fatigue, citizens demand that their leaders find a way forward. Fatal. It would be a disaster if we have to go to the elections for a third time. I think people would protest on the street and not even half of the voters would actually bother to vote. Think about that. If the Conservatives don't make a coalition with the left, then they will have to form a coalition with the right. For Socialist leader and winner of the election, Pedro Sanchez, calling the vote was a gamble. Instead of strengthening his hand, his party got fewer seats than in April's election. Sanchez cannot govern alone, and as he addressed a crowd of supporters Sunday night, he offered no clear path as to how he plans to move ahead. Democracy has summoned all political parties to unblock the political situation so that there is a progressive government led by the Socialist Party. Spain's right bloc got a boost, with the far-right Vox party benefiting the most. With its fierce nationalist views and tough stance on Catalan separatism, it more than doubled its seats in parliament and has become Spain's third largest political force. Today, a patriotic alternative and a social alternative has been consolidated in Spain that demands national unity and the restoration of constitutional order in Catalonia. Journalist Jesus Mañana says Spain's political landscape has become more complex than ever, with a traditional two-party system being replaced by a more fragmented picture. The emergence of smaller parties followed the 2008 financial crisis. There are people that thought this model would be temporary, but every time we vote we prove this multi-party system is here to stay. So it's up to the politicians to assume that this is the political reality and ask for the ability to compromise and forget about any red lines. Pedro Sanchez will be facing some tough negotiations in the weeks and even months ahead. Negotiating a coalition with his natural ally, leftist Podemos, still leaves him short of a majority and he'll still need help from regional parties. And a grand coalition with his conservative rivals will be an even harder maneuver to pull off. Filio Contrafori, CGTN, Madrid.